Hello and welcome. Thank you for taking time to join me. I am Orjax and this is Rockwin. So last episode we got, uh, let's start draining the water. Last episode, we, uh, we found Kisaburo song and some cash. We'll fill the sink with water. Does our bucket need filling? No, it does not. Let's flap this toilet. Flap, flap, flap. Make sure to leave the seat up. <laughs> and here's a plant to water. Wonderful. That should... Oh, Little Bud's Remix CD. Nice. That's going straight into the break room. Wonderful. Some more cash. Man, we are, we are cashing in right now. Let's go ahead and fill the bucket. Because <clears throat> you never know when there's something to water. Now we've flipped the pump and we've also watered the plant. So there should be some new options available to us. Back in the tea shop with Kazuko. So they were both kind of trying to get to each other. All right, I need to figure out what is different. Oh, the envoy's gone. Very interesting. Okay, um, we now have the pickaxe as of last episode. So I'm wondering if we can maybe head down here. I seem to vaguely remember that there was a cave down here. Let me warp to that. Shmeow. Okay, um, so the, the cave was where, um, was where Tony's, uh, daughter lived as a bear, but there's a well right outside, and I hopped down in there, and so there's this new place we can go to, and I want to see what's in here. Oh, hello. Saito-san, there, no one is home. I would love a translation if anyone, if that is a thing. Sai, Saito? Saito? Saito-san. Where is this now? Where have we gone to? Oh, I think this is a totally new place. The door's locked. All right. Shigi, morning tea is uh, good to me. Afternoon tea helps me think. Evening tea you shouldn't drink because then you can't fall asleep. No, 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 they can't. Then you can't fall asleep. Yeah. Shigi is probably Super Shigi, the uh, creator of the game. Just finishing up some new art. Ah, these flowers, those flowers up there always remind me of the time I fell asleep in a planter. What? Just finishing inking hundreds of pages I think my hand is about to fall off but it's okay because I'm gonna sleep well tonight and you know what they say a good night's sleep is the secret to a good day Nazca I had a dream where I was a strange creature with long limbs that lived in a faraway land it was much darker than this world and the sun wept most of the year from the lack of sunlight it was hard to roll because I lacked this sleek body hmm I wonder if this is like, almost like a credits. Maybe. Birdie. Superu, hello friends. How are you? Days like these always make me feel like dancing. I was in the middle of planting radishes and then boom, the urge to dance was so strong I had to start moving. Let's see if this is his bird. You know, this little one of a kind, uh, this little one kind of just fell out of the tree the other day and broke her wing. I've been taking care of her since then, but I don't think she'll ever fly well enough to go back to the wild. So I've been looking for a good home for her. She's very caring with great, uh, great with kids and folks who aren't feeling well. Would you like to adopt her? Yes. You adopted Birdie the Bird. Is she my items here? Let's, good pet for the hospital. Let's stuff her into the uh, break room. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> the music is nice, but it is very loud here. Professor Yoshi. 60. Living on the edge, sweeping up paths. Sweeping is a dangerous activity, you know. It is? You don't believe me? Last week I was sweeping and I turned around and tripped on my broom. Hit the ground hard, I did. Oh man, that's terrible. You think that's all? When I was laying on my side, a goat came out of nowhere and rammed me in the stomach. We don't have goats around here. And then, 
I realized in the midst of the goat attack, my broom had gotten knocked into the river, so I jumped in after it. Near drowned, I did. This water is like three feet deep. So now you know, now you know. Whoa, there's so many people here. Dill. Alice. I'll let you read this, because it's going to be a lot. Big Mama Chicken Dean. I think this is like a credits, Rob. Poku. Uh, dancing, dancing. I'll let you kind of read through this if you so desire. I love turtles. Don't make me heal. I much prefer to run in the middle of a fight and damage everyone at the same time. I'm working on a new song. Crystal Shrimp is the best. Help with the martial arts. Kilo Alpha November. Oops, sorry, I was just practicing. Grand Marshal Moose Rider Pfizer. Flying vehicles or special fighting moves or maple syrup. Secret hideout. Rare painting if you're willing to part with some of your gold. He doesn't need any more gold. 40G for a rare painting of it. Uh, yeah, sure. In the end, everyone gives me gold. Hey, hey, hey. We gotta have the Miss Your Bud painting. That's going in the break room for sure. Yeah, so I think this is some kind of a little credits location or something along those lines. It's interesting. Where have we... Where have we gone now? Inaccessible well. Oh! Interesting, we're back here now. Poochie! Let's, um, let's head back to town and see what may be different. We're, we're looking for something that's changed as a result of doing that water pipe. Oh, you know what? It could be to the northwest of town here. Let me warp over there. Meow. Yep, this is it. This is where we have made a difference, a change. There's a cave down there. Sue, I know she's waiting for me. I feel so bad. Sue, wait. I wish I could remember where we were supposed to meet, but I can't remember much of anything anymore. She was counting on me. Who is counting on you, Sue? My friend. She needed someone to take care of her. She didn't have anyone to take care of her. She didn't have anyone to love her. I promised that we'd take care of each other, but I broke that promise. I have to find her. We'll find your friend, Sue. I promise. Thank you. Ooh, she dropped a thing. A little pennant. She dropped this. What do you think it's for, Mom? Hmm, I'm not sure. But when I was a little girl, I used a ribbon with a bell on it, just like this, as a pet collar. A pet collar? Yep, the noise from the bell helped us find our cats and dogs, like Poochie, when they were hiding, and it made it harder for them to catch birds and mice. Mom, look! It says Poochie on the side! Aha! That name seems familiar. Alright, let's take a quick peek in here, and then we're gonna go warp to Poochie. Hello, Sue. I wish I could remember. She was counting on me. We'll find your friend. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go warp to Poochie. Meow. Here we are, back at Poochie. Mom, look. She's sniffing the bell we picked up back there. Are you Sue's friend? Do you want us to take you to her? I think she wants to follow us. Oh, she seems like such a sweet dog. We'll take you back to your friend, little one. Yay, Mom, let's go. All right, I'm gonna warp back over there. Meow. Here we are. Back to see Sue with Poochie. So I think Sue... Oh, Sue, Sue, we found your friend. We found Poochie. She's gone. I think Sue is next, the next song that we're going to get. Mom, where did she go? I'm not sure, dear. 
What is it, boy? Wow, Poochie, thanks. We'll go find Sue for you. This is gonna be... So we know her dad got into gambling, like, too much. Uh, and she's a pretty lonely kiddo. These things we know about Sue... Is that little baby Sue down there? Oh. Oh! But aren't you hungry? I am, but you, uh, you know I can't go home right now. Well, okay. But just don't catch a cold. It's getting chilly these days. I'll try my best. See you later, Yuki. We are Poochie! Heck, another stray dog. I thought the city took care of that problem years ago. Sad face. Can we cross? We cannot cross. Kitty. Toma, sorry, Pup, I can't let you pass. Wait. Huh? You're new around here, aren't you? Where's your litter? Where's your ma? I don't know. I just woke up this morning and they were all gone. Oh, sad. I'm sorry, kid. Well, how about this? If you're looking for a warm place to sleep, prove to me you're a good pup. Bring me something to eat and I'll let you sleep in the back alley here. The hot water pipes run directly through it, so it's nice and warm. Good company, too. All the nice cats and dogs hang out back there. Cats and dogs hang out together? Of course. In this town, we strays gotta stick together. Cat, dog, it don't matter. Deep down, we all just want a warm bed, a full tummy, and someone to love us. So it's a deal, eh? Bring me some food and you can join us. I'll try my best. Oh, something's different. Oh, Looney, why didn't you come home last night? Everyone told me that I shouldn't let you in an, uh, be an outdoor cat because it's too dangerous in the city. But I wanted you to be free. Oh, hello, doggy. Me? Oh, I'm just really worried right now. My cat, Looney, she usually comes home every night, but last night she didn't return. I had to come to work today, but I'm just worried sick. What if something happened to her? What if she's lost? You probably can't understand what I'm saying. Well, doggy, I'm so sorry, but I can't let you stay inside. My boss has a strict no-dog policy, so it's not safe for you here. Please take care, little one. Looney! <coughs> hey, Looney, you're back. Come on in. Mmm. We need to get in there. Pizza and coffee. Look inside. It looks as though the trash can was just emptied. Doesn't smell like food. Doesn't smell like food. Hello, kid. My friend said there was a mega crocodilo around here. I haven't caught one of those yet. Oh ho! Like Pokemon Go. Pudding. Last week, uh, we lost another friend. The people in that building called animal control on him. They came and took him away. Be careful. It's a tough world for us strays. Papalone. My humans moved away last month and left me behind. I miss them so much. Egg sandwiches. Trash can filled to the brim with plastic wrappers and empty containers. There's no food. Good things inside, but they're out of reach. <coughs> oh my gosh, a stray jo dog just wandered into the office. Someone call animal control. Eep. Okay, can't go in there. Hmm. Let's talk to these kids. My brother and I are always trying to get Rusatilions to grow wings, but we have to walk a lot of kilometers before that happens. Want to run circles with us? Five kilometers before my Ru Rusatilion can grow wings. Sure, I'll walk some circles. Do I get anything out of this? You guys just ha hatching your Pokemons? Okay, let's talk with some of these. Mickey, hi, pup. It's pretty tough for us strays. When the weather starts turning cold, I think it might snow soon. Keep warm, pup. 
Can we cross across? Hey, you can't just go running into the street like that. You're gonna get hit by a car. Okay. Him. Can I cross at the crosswalk? Let me across right meow. Hmm. Old newspapers. Can't smell anything. Plastic bottles. Ma used to like to chew on those things. Alright. I don't know how to use that. Let's talk again, because we can't find any food. Did you find any food? Not yet. Say, who is that cat who just followed you into the alley? You mean Looney? Really sweet black cat, bright yellow eyes. She's actually not a stray. She has a really nice owner and lives in the apartments around here. But she still hangs out with us. That's rare, you know? Most domestics don't want to mess around with our kind, but Looney's different. I don't have any food for you yet, but would it be alright if I went into the alley for just a bit? I have a message for Looney. It's about her owner. He okay? He's really worried about her. I guess she didn't come home last night. Hmm. Okay, you seem like an honest pup. I'll let you back in for just a bit to talk to Looney. Thank you. Here we go! Let's go talk. Talk to some domestic cats. Looney's the black cat right over there. Go ahead and deliver your message. Kinney has nothing to say. Andy's sleeping. Hello, Looney. I, um, well, I just saw your owner. And, um, he seems really, really worried about you. He said you didn't come home last night. Oh no, I was afraid he'd worry. You see, I don't usually stay away from home this long, but this was an emergency. My best friend's owner passed away, so he's really sad and needs my company right now. Oh, Looney, I don't want your owner to worry. You've already been such a great help to me during this time. You should go back to him. I'll be fine now. Kinney, are you sure? I'm sure. I think I need a nap now anyway. I'll come back every day, just as I always do, because you're my best friend. You're my best friend too, Looney. Thank you for letting me know about this. Do you think you could take me to my owner? Okay. Let's do it. Made a new friend. Okay. Wonder Bar. Da 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 da! Doggy, I'm really sorry, but I can't let you. Looney! Looney, is that you? Oh, Looney, I thought something awful had happened to you. Is this Doggy your friend? Thank you for bringing my cat back to me. I'm so relieved she's okay. Come here, I've got something for you. A whole platter! To say thank you, why don't you have some of this fish cake? Fish cake! Take care, little one. Alright, now we've actually got some food. Fish cake! Oh my goodness, that heavenly scent! Is that fish cake? You can have it if you like. You're one of us now. <clears throat> oh my, look at this. Tonight we have a very special treat. Courtesy of our new friend Poochie. Is that fish cake? Fish cake! And I must say, champ, you did an amazing job as well. The baker's wife gave me all their leftovers because I ate a squirrel that was destroying her arden. garden. Bravo! There are enough donuts here to start our own bakery. A cat and dog bakery, that'll be the day. Welcome to the first official Tokyo Cat and Dog Bakery. Heh <laughs> heh. Okay, everyone, let's eat. Dot dot dot. Very interesting. Oh, we're in a new place now. Where is that dog? The boss said he'd be right by the elementary school. Let me check the orders again. Ah! There she is. Get her. Okay, pup, you're coming with us now. Save me. She's awfully calm for a stray, isn't she? Yeah, she's a nice dog. It's a shame no one will adopt her. Too mangy. Such a forlorn look on her face. Kind of reminds me of Hachiko, doesn't she? Yeah, you're right. A big mangy Akita like ha uh, Hachiko 
wouldn't last too long in today's Tokyo. Such a shame. They'll probably put her down in seven days like all the others. Sue, wait. You can't put her down. I'm sorry, little girl. It sounds really sad, but there's just too many stray dogs and not enough homes. No, I mean you can't put her down because... Because... Because she's my dog. She's your dog? Yes. What's her name? Her name? Her name is Poochie. Poochie. Good dog. Poochie, did you sneak outside again? I told you to stay in the yard. I see. And where's Poochie's collar? Oh, um... Well, you see, she keeps taking it off because it's too tight. Mom's been meaning to get her a new one that fits, but... She works full-time, so she's really busy. Okay, but please be careful uh, that your fence is dog-proof next time. If that dog gets out, it's very dangerous for people as well as for the dog. I understand, sir. It won't happen again. Keep an eye on her. I will, sir. I promise. So there you go. That's Sue adopting her uh, little poochie friend. Phew, that was a close one. I can't believe you were gonna, they were going to put you down. Such a nice and beautiful dog like you. I just couldn't let that happen. Mom and Dad would never let me keep a dog as a pet, but that doesn't mean we can't be friends. Oh, you must be so hungry. I've actually got some leftovers from lunch you can have. But we should probably go someplace safer. Come on, I have just the place. Okay, Poochie, today I want to show you my favorite place. See this tree? I call this the Lonely Tree. Why do I call it that? Well, it's all by itself. It's too tall to talk to the grass. It doesn't have a whole lot in common with the bushes. There just aren't other trees around here. It needs someone to talk to. Oh, don't worry. The tree isn't lonely when I'm here, and I come here a lot. It's my favorite place. When it's hot, the tree gives me shade. When I'm scared, it lets me hide in its branches. We talk together and just hang out. It's nice, you know? Anyways, since I was here every day after school, since I walked by here every day after school, do you want this to be our meeting place? I'll save part of my lunch for you, and we can play games together. How does that sound? It's a deal, then. I gotta go home now, but... Here's some food for you. I wasn't hungry today, so there's a lot left. I hope you enjoy. So she's very lonely in her life. Despite being around other kids, she feels seemingly very isolated. Okay, Poochie. Now it's my turn to hide. Close your eyes. Are they closed for reals? Okay then, count to ten. One, two, three, four, five. You're never gonna find me. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, seems like a good place. You found me. Now it's your turn to hide. <clears throat> Tell us about your marbles, Sue. Haha, <laughs> yeah, Sue. Tell us how you think they're actually little planets. She thinks they're planets? Haha, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to take them out of the jar right now. Why? Will all the little aliens spill out? Ha ha ha. She's such a weirdo. I don't like taking them out at school. No. You don't want to take them out because they're just plain old marbles. They're not just marbles. So she admits it. She thinks her marbles are planets. She's crazy. Ha ha ha. Leave me alone. Come on, Sue. Let us see your planets. Get away from me. Da -da -da -da. Poochie to the rescue. Get your scary stray dog away from us. Da, 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 da. It's Poochie. Oh, Poochie. Thank you. Poochie is the night. People don't always like you when you're different. Maybe it's just how it is, like cats and dogs don't get along. What's that, Poochie? You used to hang out with cats and they wanted to start a cat dog and cat bakery? Wow, that's really cool. I'd eat at a place like that. Dot, dot, dot.
Poochie, today I want to show you where I live. No, Poochie. Sorry, girl. It's just that you can't bark around here. We'll get in, we could get in trouble. Thanks for understanding. Well, this is my home. I really wish I could show you my room, but Dad's home right now. He gets pretty angry if he's napping and someone wakes him up. He came home late last night because he was playing this out playing this grown-up game. You know, the kind of game where you drink grown-up drinks and lose a lot of money. So he's got a drinking problem and a gambling problem. I don't like those games. But don't worry. I still have lots of cool things I can show you in the yard. Like, see over here. Earlier this year, some morning doves made a nest in the bushes. See how low to the ground it was? I came and checked on them every morning before school, and one day the babies flew away. Oh. Hmm, where did I put it? Here it is. See how much this rock looks like a duck? What the hell is this? Calm down, dear. I needed to wash your clothes. I... I told you not to move my things. Dad's awake. Come on, Poochie. We gotta go. Follow me. So, some domestic issues around the house. Quick, Poochie, in here. That was close. We can hide here until things calm down. Want to look at my marble collection? I don't have the whole jar with me, but I have a few ones in my pocket. When I have to hide, I like to choose a marble and make a new world. Will you make a new world with me, Poochie? Let's see, how about this one? Um, I found this marble at the base of the lonely tree and it's the color of amber. It made me think the tree was giving me a present. I think the planet has a really big tree in it. The tree is so big that everyone lives there together. Inside the tree, there's a room with where flower creatures serve you the most delicious tea ever. And the tea room is upside down so you can walk on the ceiling. Your tea won't even fall out of your cup. Of course, you can sit at the table with me and share my food. You want to make up another world? Okay, what will yours be like? A cat and dog bakery planet? That's a great idea. So she had this sort of escape. She had these places to go to and her marbles were her refuge, I guess. Pushy. He left. He just took all his things and now he's gone. He didn't even say goodbye. Pucci. Do you think he was a bad person? The silent judgment. Do you think he left because he didn't care? Was he afraid? Did he not love us anymore? It's a lot of hard questions for a kid. Poochie, I made you something today. It's your very own collar. I used a pink ribbon and a bell I got from school. That way everyone will know that you have someone who loves you and wants to take care of you. I'll always be there for you, Poochie, I promise. Oh, I don't think this collar is going to be long enough. That's okay, I have more ribbon at home so I can fix it later. Okay, Poochie, I gotta go early today. Gotta help Mom with some stuff. But I'll see you tomorrow. Poochie, you're my best friend. Her only friend, really, except for her marbles. Waiting, waiting. Waiting, waiting. That's the tree outside Kazuko's shop that Puchi was just sitting at. We can't go yet, Mom. I have to talk to my friend. I know moving is a scary thing, but trust me, Sue, you'll make new friends. I don't want to make new friends. This is my best friend. And she needs me. I just can't leave her. I don't understand why we have to move away. Can't I just go to the doctor here? We're going to Sendai to stay with your uncle and aunt because it's closer to the kind of medical care you need. Sue, I know it's difficult, but your father's not here anymore. Practically speaking, it's just too expensive for us to live here. Then can I bring my friend with me? 
For the last time, no. Now please, get in the car. So she never came back with the collar. The Poochie's waiting for her. Mm. No, this is like that dog that waited at the train station for like 20 years. Uh. Mom, where are we? I'm not sure, sweetie. It feels cold and really empty. I know, dear. It's probably best if we keep walking. All right, my friends, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Rakuin. I would like to know which one of Sue's marbles is your favorite marble so far. And uh, if you enjoyed this episode, you've got various little YouTube buttons down there at your disposal, like buttons, subscribe buttons. And uh, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time for more Rakuin.